slightly behind schedule at quarter past one on Tuesday 12 September 2023. Yes ma'am. We are heading to Riversdale. Yes, Riversdale is about a 65 kilometer drive. Uh, so let's go and see what it looks like. Yes. to gravel here we go unexpectedly yeah fantastic all right so this is the perfect picture gravel road blue skies rolling hills and mountains green rolling hills and mountains yeah okay <laughs> i mean that's evident for yeah. everyone to see and you oh. can't really see it, but there's the Groot Bos. What Groot Bos Rivier? Eh? Groot Vaders Bos. Groot Vaders Bos Rivier is just down there next to the. Okay, yeah. so it comes from here. Yes. And there is a cloud or seventeen in the sky. Beautiful though. Yeah. Love it. Rather busy compared to the little back roads we take. Oh well, yes. <laughs> Memorial. Brilliant, eh? That's uh, 1838 to 1938. Centenary? Yes. And this side's 1838 to 1988. It's the 150th. Okay. Very neatly done, eh? Yeah, very nice. What a substantial monument. Oh, and this side's also 7 September 1988, 150th year. 150th? Yes. Again, okay. I'm going to get out. Yep, you do that. Wow.
Ja. Yeah, there's the bowling green. Such a pretty little park here as well. And this is as you get into rivers there. Oh, that was awesome to see. Yes, great monument that is. Great way to start our visit to Riversdale. Yeah. Listen, I chuckle, they say that um, Riversdale is most probably best known for its um, fantastic indigenous feinbos. And there's a flower show that Riversdale hosts every September. They say, they say when you approach the, the town in this month, you um, should encounter a rather pungent odour attributable to the smelly agathom, agathosma, one of the strains of buchu that grows wild oh, here. crazy, that's brilliant. I haven't gotten any whiffs yet, I have you? No, I don't smell any pungent odors. No. <laughs> Nothing pungent. Pungent to me makes it as if it doesn't smell good. All that nice. Yeah. The road track Crossing right in the middle of town. Train lines. That's the station. That's the station. Serious? <laughs> Already? <gasps> oh, wow, 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 wow. Look at this. Look at the power station there at the back. Yeah, oh, the Power station. Incredible. You always love that when you when you say each town generated its own electricity. Yeah, I wonder if they've demolished their cooling towers. They must have, eh? Yeah, they know they know we're inside. Yeah. Wild. Well we have both name boards. Yes, look at this, but down the other I can't read them from this side. Yes, you will I know hop out, but Unfortunately, all indications are that this is no longer I think functional. We've, we've come to the conclusion that 99% of the stations are not functional. I am pleasantly surprised at its condition. 1936 and Fantastic. it is beautiful. Oh, imagine the people going in through here to buy tickets to go to Cape Town. I can just see it happening the steam engine <laughs> yeah. look how many windows are broken but look how many more are still intact yeah that's wild i heard that steam engine simulation yeah. mind you <laughs> Yo.
Riversdale. Two hundred and fifty six miles to Cape Town. Altitude three hundred and eighty seven feet. The old lights. Must have had some water feature here. Yeah. All built up. Yeah. happy we found the station. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm glad to see it. far down there's a security guard walking up and down. But there's so many people walking across the tracks. So I don't know if one security guard will be able to stop anything going wrong. But you know what, when someone starts vandalizing the building seriously, yeah. he might be able to report it. Yes. I'm fascinated by the flower show in September, but I'm not able to find any dates. Okay. Um, it is interesting though that they harvest and export proteas and ericas. Wow. Yes, something old coming on the right. Oh. oh this is old eh? Look at the wall even. Love that. Look at the bell tower. Can you turn up here? This is the biggest bell tower I think we've ever seen. Wow, oh, that's enormous. They're going to be busy taking that bell down. <laughs> They're going to need a forklift or a crane. locked this is absolutely beautiful All I can see there is in loving memory of William and, and that's it. I wish I can see a date somewhere. This wall is so old as well. It's locked. Oh, there's nothing about a date here. St. Matthew's Riverdale. 
I can't get in here, but there are, there are some graves. Oh boy. Let's, let me zoom in there a bit. Elizabeth Ann Starkey, who departed this life November the 4th, 1881, aged 66 years. Those others at the back are just too far and I can't get in. In loving memory of William Morkel, who died on August the 28th, 1899, aged 59. Wow. Sonia struggled to find some information about this church because I can't find a date on it. And um, the problem is there's a St. Matthew's Anglican Church in Toronto, Canada. But she did find out that this church yeah, in Riversdale was built in 1856. And what is in very interesting is that the architect was Sophia Gray. Yeah, I thought that yeah, was amazing. That is brilliant. Also it? known as Sophie Gray. Fantastic. We learnt about her, funnily enough, also in the Overberg. Yes. What a beautiful church yeah, this is though. Fantastic. I wish I could get inside. Wow. I see there's a chain and a lock. No, oh, both the gates are locked. Oh, is it? Yeah. Great stuff. Super Spa will see us later. Yes, definitely, for some refreshments. Yes, ma'am. Look how clean the town is. Mm. Very impressive. Wide streets, yes. busy and very neat. That's no, very clean and oh. tidy. I agree. Yes, this is what I was looking for, the old jail. <laughs> <laughs> they say they only close at five, so we're in luck. Yes, let's see what it looks like inside. The old jail.
So for lunch, we're going to have chips, toasted ham, cheese and tomato, and toasted chicken mayonnaise. In lunch on the go. Riversdale. This was incredibly interesting to walk through. I am relieved you escaped the gallows. <sighs> the old jail. And you know, it's not the original gallows, but that was the gallows room. And one person was executed there. Oh! oh that's, that's gross to think. <laughs> yeah. Let's not go there. Yes. I like the town. So do I. There's the museum. They just locked up the museum. Oh, did they? I only saw the sign now that said parking for the museum. And they were locking up now. We didn't even, it's 10 past 3. We didn't oh. even know that that was the museum. No. Look at this. Yeah. Beautiful though. Let's check next door. Don't you mind 1889? 1826. <laughs> they are both gorgeous. Yo. Wow. There's St. Andrew's Anglican Church. Oh, a blue one. Yes. That's highly unusual. Wow, but it's gorgeous. Another huge bell tower. What a big bulk of a building. Yes. Wow. St. Andrew's Anglican Church. Yeah. Are we looking for a date? No, I couldn't see anything there. Oh. Quite a few churches here in Riversdale. Oh, gorgeous. Yes. At the steeple. And a big hall. Could, yes. th could this be Dutch Reformed? I don't know. I don't think so, though. School That's in front for sure. of us. <laughs> Look at this church tower. Can we see a name perhaps? Oh wow. It looks like a castle. Oh, it is beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? It's incredible. Maybe we see a corner. There's a cornerstone. Okay, I have to go and check it out. I can hardly see what's written on that cornerstone. So it looks as if it was laid by the mayor of the town on the 11th of December 1907. I can't make out anything else on it. A beautiful church. Yeah, 1907, eh? But it doesn't say what, what church it is. Oh, this is not the hall I see. It's the Hesekwa municipality. Yes, same colour, though. Community development. Yeah, that's what led me astray. I don't blame you. Oh, wow. There's just so many church buildings in the town. Yes, right? beautiful ones. It's a municipality. Oh, 
look at steeples. Yes. And tower. How beautiful. <laughs> wow. You think we're we'll going to be able to figure out what this one is? Uh, normally the Dutch Reformed Church is in the center of the town. We just need to get to the other side. I'm sure this is it. Oh, you'll have to go around the corner. Yeah. Around the block, I think. of the surrounding farming community for shopping and stuff commercially speaking and one can see it oh for sure it's not a small little place no definitely not clear mm -hmm. that reformed. reformed church yes wow it's beautiful it's a bit busy here isn't yeah it? So it's like our luck, they closed at 3 o'clock and we saw them locking up as we came past here, it was 10 past 3, so. I must be honest, I didn't know it was this building. All I saw was parking museum. I didn't see that yes. and this was one of our stops. Yes. So I'm just going to read what it's about. They say here, the Julius Gordon Africana Center houses an art and antique collection and the paintings by Thomas Bowler. Somewhere else I read, I don't know if I can find it, that it's, it hosts the largest collection of Thomas Bowler paintings outside of another country, which I'm not sure what it is now. It would have been cool to get in. Yeah, it would have, eh? I see the building's a national monument as well. Yeah. Just a correction, yeah. the town is home to the second largest collection of Thomas Bowler paintings within South Africa. Oh, okay. okay. But have we got that closed now? Yeah. You just had to come back. Yes. Big building again. Nice. Wow. The go. tower is incredibly impressive. It is, eh? Okay, I just wanted to pop in. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. What? Look at the condition. 970. Look at its condition. You know, this was a fluke. You go look first and then I'll tell you where I wanted you to this actually go. crazy. <gasps> okay, there we go. Look at this thing's condition. Oh, this is so great to see. Yeah. What an amazing find. And what a big surprise. And I'm telling you, as I'm walking around it, the paint smells as if it's just recently been painted. It's paint, it smells fresh. So we didn't smell buchu, but we smelled fresh paint yes, on the loco. We're cool amazing. with it. That's amazing. 
been so tested. Can I show you now what I actually wanted to show you? Yes. To the left here. Yes, ma'am. Two little shelters here. Yeah. Oh, it's for walkers. Oh. Or what? I, don't I know. think it's taxi pickups. Oh, okay. okay. This is the building I wanted you to come and see. 1932. It's gorgeous. Beautiful. Definitely Magistrate's Court in my eyes. Definitely, yeah. Beautiful. Alright. Sure. We um, need to stock up now at Super Spa. Yes, ma'am. Riversdale Magistrate's Office. I told you, I know a Department of Justice building when I see it. <laughs> this looks like the primary school. Yes, it does. They look like young ones to me. I want to share some history. I just want to see the name of the school. Yeah. Follies. What would that stand for? Large School Falski. Ah, okay. How cute. Yes. <laughs> All right. There's a long history, I'll share a little bit. The town was founded as a church on the farm Doerenkraal and was subsequently named after Harry Rivers, the then incumbent civil commissioner of Dam. It was proclaimed a town on the 30th of August, 1838. Wow, that's old, eh? That was the year of the Great Day? Yes. Coincidentally. And something that I was very surprised by, and I think you will be too, is that Riversdale is on the garden route. That's wild. And um, it's known as the westernmost point of the garden route, and also as the explorer's garden route, and the floral paradise of the garden route. So yeah. We learned something today, it's on the garden route. Hoerskool Langenhoven, Langenhoven High School. I'm so glad we found it. Yes. See here, Langenhoven spent the last two years of his school career in Riversdale. Seriously? Yes. And as you know, he wrote the Afrikaans, the STEM. Wow. Our previous national anthem, of which the one verse is still incorporated. Yes. Into Nkosi. Amazing, eh? Oh, I'm so glad we found it. Brilliant. <laughs> Dali and Mattia came here. Okay. For those who don't know, she's the author of Fila Sekund and Kringer in a Bos, amongst others. That's the Landbosco? Yes. <laughs> Quick drive through. Wow. Look, there are stables. Yes. It's massive, eh? Yeah. looks organized. Yeah. Well, it's not an agricultural area for nothing, right? That's for sure. So the horses that are in the stables now, are they always here? I don't know how that works. Big place. Massive place. Look how neat it is, eh? I thought I read something about the agricultural show, but I think it is in February. February, that's what I think you read, yes. Yeah, in February. Doesn't look like they're preparing for anything at the moment. No, but I it's I think it beautiful. always looks so good. I suppose they have so many people with their products over here, because it looks like a camping site with electrical points. Yeah, and look, <laughs> I was probably stalls. Yes. And look here, for all the home industry stuff yes oh, I love shows but so do I. especially um agricultural shows especially the baking halls <laughs> bull smith yeah what do you think bull smith farms with uh, uh sheep <laughs> van wijk hall got de necker and poultry Oh, the poultry needs small facility, they teeny. <laughs> Super cool. Love it. Big thing this, you can see. This oh, is probably 
huge every year. You can imagine coming over here in February and seeing what it's like then, eh? Must be crazy busy. I probably have artists coming to sing. Yes. <laughs> that horse, did you see the horse? No, I didn't. Stuck his head out. <laughs> getting late in the afternoon and we've still got quite a distance to go ahead of us I had to stop at this to look at this bridge the old one Beautiful is this old bridge. The Feta River. Bridges were just so beautiful. Look how pretty this is. Yeah. time that I finished to the bridge. <laughs> yeah, lucky. Yeah, it's beautiful. They sure knew how to build bridges in the past. That's what I just said. I said that the, the old bridges are just so much more beautiful and got so much more character than the modern day bridges. Modern day bridges are cold and <laughs> got no warmth to them. That, no character, yeah. right? They took their time yeah. back in the day. Garcia's Pass or is it Garcia's Pass? <laughs> <laughs> you know I go for Garcia but I don't know in South Africa yeah. if it's known as Garcia. It's the same thing at the end of the day I think. Exactly. The beauty doesn't change. That's for sure.
constructed in 1877 and reconstructed in 1963. Wow! That's interesting. 500 and something I saw, summit. Yes. 555. 55. Very pretty mountains here surrounding Garcia's Pass. For sure. Mm. Yeah, I go feeling all tiny again. <laughs> Significant, so we true. are. Look at this. This, this is the old toll house for when it was still built in the beginning days. Yes. That's what they Where used people to. had to cough up. Yes. Super cool. It's in great yeah, shape. It needs it paint, but it's in good shape. Fantastic. So great to see. Unfortunately, I can't see anything on that block. I think the raised lettering is the exact same color as the plow. Yes. Looks like this is a nature reserve of some kind. Or a hike. Yeah. Wow. It's a hike. Amazing. It was cool visiting CCC. Riversdale. I was very impressed with the church buildings and the other beautiful buildings and then the locomotive was such an unexpected surprise crazy surprise you know what and what when you told me now at the end yeah that um it's the start of the garden route the westernmost point of yeah. the garden route yeah that's wild i didn't know that beautiful area this yeah. it was a pleasure to visit